Hey, thanks for joining us tonight. My name is Jeffrey Jansen. Welcome to Fireside Chat. Today's special guest is, uh, is it's always an honor to always have him with us in everywhere from parades to watching his comedy shows to listening to his inspira inspirational information that he does on his own channels. Uh, Vernon Davis, everybody, will be our special guest today. Now, for all of you that are joining us, yesterday was our pilot, and I'm going to tell you real quick what this is all about. This is just a simple discussion between two people. If you got questions, put them up on the screen and we'll see what we can do. We're gonna go exactly 15 minutes. This is for people that you may think you've hit rock bottom. You may not think that you're important, but you are. You may be rich as freaking monkey, I don't know. And you're just looking for that next thing to go forward. Because one thing we've learned that there's a lot of people out there looking for that one nugget of information. They're looking to know that they're important and they matter. And so we're starting these fireside conversations just to give you a few minutes each day to let you know why you matter, how you're important. Maybe you're looking for a job. Maybe you're going through a bad divorce. Maybe you're fighting for your kids. Maybe you just got out of the service and you don't know what to do next. We're hoping that somebody says something that you can reunite, uh, that you can feel and understand. And by doing that, we bring on all kinds of people from every walk of life. Um, though I brought on a special friend of mine the first couple weeks could be some good friends of mine is uh, Vernon Davis he's uh, also known as Longhorn the comedian Vernon Davis has been doing thank you for your service uh, I'll let him go more into detail about that and let you tell about himself and what we're here to do is just talk to you we're here to let you know things you can do let you know why you matter why you're important and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn it over to Vernon for a few minutes He'll shoot it back over to me. I'll tell you a couple jobs that are opening up. I'll tell you a couple things that you can again. I do many And we're going to go from there. Tonight, everybody, give everybody give them a warm welcome. This is, what the heck did he just put on his head? This is uh, Vernon Davis. Uh, these are not meant to be serious. This is meant for you to just listen and, you know, we do crazy things. We are non-denominational, which means some people are going to be Christian, Catholic, Mormon, Jews, Muslim. It don't matter. We're all in this together. Everybody, give them well. Vernon Davis, everybody. Hey, what's happening, Jeff? How you doing, bro? Outstanding, Vernon. C can you can you hear me okay? <laughs> you, don't, you, you you digging the headgear? You like the headgear? Don't don't don't, I, don't I, be I'm jealous. digging it. I'm digging it. Don't don't I'm be gonna... jealous. Yeah, but uh, no. Nah. I am um, Vernon Davis, also known as Longhorn the comedian. Uh, and I am a big fan of uh, Jeff Jensen and everything that he does. He's a great guy. Uh, talks to them much, but I love them anyway. Um, <laughs> and the thing I love most about Jeff is his heart, because he is an awesome guy, and he does have a big heart, and he does a lot for the community. He's um, as crazy about veterans as I am. Um, my com my connection is I'm fourth-generation veteran, and my daughter is fifth-generation, so we kind of call it the family business. Uh, last I checked, we've had over many people in the last three of our generations that have served in the military in some way, form, or fashion, and all branches except for Coast Guard, which, yeah, we don't do Coast Guard. But, <laughs> no, we, we don't we do not do Coast Guard, you know. Um, my brother was actually Navy. I'm fourth generation Army. Uh, suicide prevention and veteran suicide prevention is something that's very big for me. I recently wrote a book called Messages in the Madness. And in that book is my story about suicide prevention, speaking basically of my own. Because after I got out of the military, I, too, was not far from the possibilities of no longer being here on this earth. But if it wasn't for one of my, if it wasn't for, from, for a military friend of mine, another veteran, I wouldn't be here. And he doesn't know to this day that his words, wisdom and kindness and the fact that he wouldn't leave me alone for a second is the re is one of the reasons why I'm still here. So I also am a public speaker, keynote speaker, and one of the speeches that I do is in reference to a suicide veteran suicide prevention. Because the reality is, is we've got a lot going on this year. 2020 has been a booger bear. You know, it has been a uh, serious no-go. And it's been tough on a lot of people, not just veterans, but people in general. But we're talking about our vets. It's been very tough, I have to admit it. And I'm not going to be issue about it. 
the reality of it is you can get through this. You have been through worse. A lot of y'all have been on battlefields. Well, I'm a combat medic. That's all I'm going to say about that. A lot of you have been on battlefields. A lot of you didn't know if you was going to live the next second, let alone the next day. And you made it through that. You've got families that love you and depend on you. You got people who look up to you, people who respect you. And it's your turn. It's your job to to Charlie Mike continue mission. So I have to tell you, I know you don't know me from a can of paint, which is fine. 